A little boy in New Jersey is just seven months old and already defying the odds. He was diagnosed with a fatal condition before he was even born, but doctors performed a groundbreaking surgery to save his life. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates has the story. We'll go beyond even calling Lucas a miracle baby. He goes way above that. He's like so unique, you know, in the medical literature. Most of the children that are born with this condition die after several hours. Lucas is the only baby in the world who has survived and thrives with a condition called exencephaly, where he's missing a large area of his skull. And then the brain is exposed to the intrauterine uh, environment, and so usually that does a lot of damage. Lucas's mom was told when she was 10 weeks pregnant. And they recommended abortion. So um, that's not what I wanted to do. But she was told if he was born, he would not live past that day. She prepared his three sisters. When we were at the delivery room, because I wanted them to meet their baby brother, so we didn't know what to expect. So they came in, they were told that her, their baby brother was gonna die. But Dr. Vogel says Lucas was otherwise a healthy baby. With the family's hopes and blessings, he gave the infant a chance, closing skin around his exposed brain tissue. As skull bone grows, Dr. Vogel will shave a layer from it to fill in the sunken areas, giving him a more rounded head. It's not known how far he may be able to advance physically and mentally, but his will to live? Last week he started eating cereal, he's eating um, baby food keeps the doctor excited about giving Lucas the best chances possible. It's just awesome to be a part of something that's so unique um, and to really know that, um, you know, there's a, it's a promising future uh, for Lucas. And they all promise to allow us to follow his progress as he fights to live.